What's up everybody? Thought I'd do a video today on the ISDT FD200 200 watt smart discharger. Depending on what country you live in of course, sometimes it's, you charge the batteries up and don't get to use them uh, due to the weather or whatever. So I live in the UK so too many times now we've charged up the batteries ready to go out and then the weather's changed on us and we haven't been able to get to use them all um, and my old my standard chargers discharge rate is two amps so it takes forever to discharge them so i'm going to do a quick unboxing and a review of this from isdd before we get into it if you like what we're doing please subscribe to us thank you to everybody that has subscribed we've just gone over 200 subscribers so thank you very much um if you do want to continue the journey with us, um, please hit the subscribe, give us a like, turn on the notifications and give us any comments below. OK, we'll put a link to this in the description below. Um, but let's open up and see what it's all about. So inside we get some nice stickers. The user guide, or as I like to call them, the destructions. Um, have a look through those. Um, and then the actual discharger itself. Now I have opened this up already. Um, you do also get some feet to put on it. Um, and you need those because it stops the vibrations. Um, but overall, nice solid feel to it very heavy um, it's basically a giant heat sink um, with a couple of fans in there yeah. okay so how do we actually use it the first thing I would recommend you do is go to the uh, app store and download the ISDT go application and once you've downloaded that um, Fire it up and you can connect via Bluetooth to the FD200 discharger. Um, I have done that already. I've called mine Spike 1, as you can see here. Um, and we literally tap on that. That then brings up the screen. So now what we need to do is obviously power up the discharger. Um, it comes with... XT60 connector so depending on what connectors you're using you will need an adapter I use XT90s so an XT90 adapter here plug that in um, and I'm going to discharge this 4S 5500 um, Turnergy rapid lipo And you can see here that it is currently fully charged. All four cells, 4.186, 4.2, 4.201, and 4.21. So that is a fully charged LiPo battery, 4S, 5500 milliamp hours. So now we plug it in, and then simply Press this button here and that turns it on. The application now finds the discharger and brings up the information on it. Um, so as you can see it's showing at 6.77 volts. What we're going to do first of all is we're going to the settings. And one of the first things you want to do on this is turn off the automatic discharge. So as you can see, third one down, it says automatic discharge close. Now what that does is um, instead of automatic discharging after about 15 seconds, I think it is on the discharger, um, you actually have to start the discharge function. You can set up preset tasks. So on the bottom one here, press preset tasks. 
Now I've set up two at the moment, one for 3S storage, one for 4S storage. So that's discharge into storage. Um, we can add in another one here. And as you can see down the bottom, you can put down what your discharge current is. You have various options here. You can go from 0.5 amps all the way up to 25 amps. Cut off voltage where you want it to cut off. You can go from three volts all the way up to four volts. And the number of cells that you're looking to balance. So it does 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, 6S, 7S and 8S. Okay, I won't save this one because I only have 3 and 4S batteries. So I've got those already. So now what we're going to do is we are going to discharge this. I will also plug in the... We can get that so you can see it because it goes down. Hopefully, you guys can see that. And we will now discharge it. Simply press the go button at the bottom. Um, actually, sorry, select the preset task 4S storage charge, and it's now going to start discharging the battery at 25 amps. Okay guys, uh, there we have it. That is finished discharging. It's taken 12 minutes, 41 seconds to drop a fully charged 5,500 mAh 4S um, pack down to a storage charge. Okay, um, and one of the things you may have noticed is that obviously when you connect it, you're not connecting any balance leads. Um, I was a bit concerned at that to start off with, but I've run it through a few times and you can see here that every cell is actually still extremely well balanced. Um, so we've dropped down now to 15.43 volts overall. Cell 1 is at 3.853. Cell 2 is at 3.859. Cell 4 is at 3.856. And cell 4 is 3.65. So if we look at the difference between all the cells now, the highest and the lowest is 0 0.012 volts between the highest and the lowest cells. So still fairly well balanced um, after discharging them. Um, and as I said, that took 12 minutes to discharge a 4S pack. So there we have it, guys. A uh, quick uh, unboxing and review of the ISDT FD200 200 watt smart discharger. Um, I'm extremely happy with it. Uh, I think they cost about £65. As I said, I'll put a link in the description below to where you get it. It's saving me a lot of time sitting waiting for the uh, standard chargers to discharge batteries at 2 amps, um, as you can see. 10, 10 to 12 minutes to discharge down from from fully charged to storage charged uh, for each pack. Hope everyone's keeping safe. Not going too mad out there. Hope you enjoy what we're doing. Uh, any comments, leave them in the comments below. Give us a like if you like what we're doing and hit the subscribe button um, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care everyone.